A lot of people today look at the world and wonder what's left to explore. We were fortunate enough to be part of an expedition this summer on a reef 100 miles west of Key West, Florida, and the, in the, in Florida itself, the mainland, that is a perfect example of what's left to explore. The Pulley Ridge is named after Dr. Thomas Pulley, who is a famous malacologist. He studies clams and snails, shells, and uh, he made dredges of material throughout the Gulf of Mexico and here came up with some unusual stuff and he recognized that this was a special place. It appears that this reef has developed on a drowned barrier island. The barrier island would have been an island 12 or 14,000 years ago when sea level was 200 to 250 feet deeper. The Pulley Ridge expedition gives us an opportunity to focus on really exceptional ecosystem, one that has only been known in fairly recent times. People have known about coral reefs probably as long as people have been around. But this particular deep water reef, characterized by an unusual assemblage of these uh, colorful blue, purple corals, and green, green algae growing at depths that are unusual for such lush forms of vegetation to occur. I'm continually surprised by the variety of life on the seafloor. Now we're working at a depth where it is at high noon on a bright sunny summer day, it's dusk. Mm -hmm. It's almost, in terms of sunlight, it's as if you're up toward the North Pole in the winter. Photosynthesis is how this planet survives, how we get energy. All energy, even oil, is based on solar power, billions of year old solar power. How plants turn that into energy is, is an amazing science, but how a plant at 250 feet of water can take 1 to 2 percent sunlight and turn it into a, a, a plant that is, is you know, a, a meter by a meter is simply amazing. A green plant is simply amazing. Back in 1965, I was the junior member of a research expedition that came down to the Dry Tortugas. And we put a trawl over the side, a small scientific trawl, and we came up with these incredible plants that looked like this. I had read about this in books, but it was considered to be a very rare plant because nobody had ever seen the samples except from the original connection, collection many years before. But that is a miracle reef because, first, it's so unusual. It is so characteristic. You take a snapshot of any part of Pulley Ridge, where the, this beautiful green plant occurs and where the blue coral is, and you know exactly where you are because, as far as we know, it's unique in the world. In the last 50 years, there has been a precipitous decline. And when I was a kid coming down to the Florida Keys, and even in Tampa Bay, and Clearwater, I, I was a student in Clearwater, Clearwater High School, when Clearwater had clear water. It doesn't anymore. We have changed the coastal waters. That's just one example. We know a fair amount about shallow water reefs, reefs in less than 100 feet of water. And as you know, they have been uh, declining in the last couple of decades. These deeper reefs we don't know much about. And a reef like the one at Pulley Ridge appears to be surprisingly healthy. Uh, we don't see signs of disease. Uh, we haven't seen any signs of coral bleaching. And what we'd like to know is, can these act as refugia for the organisms to migrate from deeper waters up to shallower reefs and resupply shallow reefs with new, uh, new material? You have to realize that until 1950s, we didn't even know how old coral was. We discovered it by drilling a hole in the Marshall Islands to drop a nuclear bomb and discovered that coral is over 30 million years old. The biological study of coral, the, the detailed biological study of coral, has only existed since the 70s in, in any type of, uh, of, of formal structure. And, and coral had already started declining. So we're studying coral that is dying. And Pulley Ridge, or the deep coral reefs, may be our only link to the past of healthy coral ecosystems.